Welcome, folks. It is November 11th, Friday, and we're going to start our uh, mass project today. Um, hopefully, you got that mold made. You got your clay. Um, you got some uh, canvas down. If you don't have canvas, no worries. You just put some newspaper, some magazine paper. Uh, this clay I'm working with is really soft, okay? If you got soft clay like I do, it actually kind of makes it easier if it's really soft. Um, you can always get your clay softer by soaking it in water. Uh, not soaking it in water, but just dip it in water and then put it in a bag overnight. Um, I'm rolling it out here with, with a roller. Um, you could find, you know, use a lot of things. You could actually use like a highlighter pen to help you roll it. Um, and then stretch it like pizza dough, just like I was doing. And then, um, you see here, I made it a little too thin, so I actually redid it and I didn't show it here in the video. But you kind of want it about a half an inch thick, this clay. Maybe even a little bit, th just a little bit thicker than half an inch. Because that will give you some flexibility um, to, to render things on your first go around with this uh, mask. This is going to be a process. You're not going to build this in one day. Um, so anyways, you see how I cut it? And I, I let a little bit above my... So it allows me to slide it around on a table, as you can see here. And then it... Um, It'll make it cleaner. It'll hang better on the wall too. And then um, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Your fingers are your best sometimes uh, sculpting tools. And I'm just kind of marking out where things go. You see, I messed up where the nose goes. And then the eyes generally go about halfway in a, in a human head, if you're doing a human head, if you want it in proportion. Um, I'm using my fingers just Pretty much marking everything out. My, my, your fingers are your best tools, I believe. Um, and after I kind of get things marked out, I'm just going to start scraping and sponging, really kind of cleaning it up. Um, being that it's on the thick side, this, this mask, it's probably, if, if you did it right, it should be about a half an inch thick. Um, that gives me room to kind of scrape uh, like cheekbones out. You know, make it more, not so it's just uh, like an egg. I want to start making the shape of it right, the, the features. And I'm even going to scrape that bottom part. Um, you'll see, I think I showed it. But it, maybe I, I missed it. But anywho, you're going to scrape that bottom part that touches the wall too, so it's, it's flush. Um, and yeah, it just it's a process. The more you scrape and sponge it, the better it's going to come out. And then I had that a little hole. And being that my clay is so soft right now, it's all the same uh, hydration, I can just fill stuff in. I don't have to score it, and I'm just shoving it in and, and using that scraper. Also using that scraper to sculpt, but see how I just did it there? And then I'm going to build up parts, and I'm not having to uh, score it. But after I wrap this today, the next time I work on it, which should be the next day, because you don't want to let this sit too long without a, a, a attending it it's going to dry out on you um but anywho uh the next time i work on this i should be able to pull the mold out of it and then um you see i'm just building up the nose even i'm not scoring um but next class it'll be a different hydration so whatever i put on this mass ne next class i will have to score on and i would call that a i would say I, i'm done for today um uh, next class I'm going to start adding features that I will have to score. I'm just going to put this in a bag and um, make sure you really fold it over. See, I'm going to fold over all that stuff so no air can get to it. Put that away and boom, I call that a wrap. It's Friday. Woo.